Hello, I'm Joseph Edwin from Oduka Institute, and now it's time for history and our discussion of today based on solving form four nectar question 2015. Our question is question number eight, which states that discuss six contribution of the agent of colonialism to the colonization of Africa. Kama sala letu inaitaji tuoneshe kwamba mchango wa vitangulizi vya koloni au mawakala ambao alikuja kuwakilisha wa koloni barani Afrika mchango wao katika kuperekea kuwepo kwa ukoloni barani Afrika. Kwa hiyo tuna, tunaangalia sasa jinsi gani hao vitangulizi vitangulizi vya ukoloni ambao ni wafanyabiashara wafanyabiashara wa misionari pamoja na, na wapelelezi walipelekea kuwepo kwa ukoloni barani Afrika. Kwa tunaangalia mchango wao walikuwa na mchango gani katika kupelekea ukoloni barani Afrika. In answering our question we 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 shall we we, go, we we shall we shall discuss our question based on three parts the first part is con introduction the second one is main body and the third it is a conclusion so let us start on discussing one part to another based on our question so on your introduction part we have the key term and our key term here it is colonialism and it also agent of colonialism so means that in our question we have key term of our question so let us start on discussing the first term which is colonialism colonialism refers to the situation whereby a powerful country dominates another state politically economically and socially kwa tunaona kwamba ukoloni ni nini ukoloni ni kwamba ni ile hali ya ya taifa kubwa ambayo lina mamlaka au taifa kubwa kuweza kuongoza taifa lingine kiuchumi kisiasa pamoja na kijamii so after looking on a, on our first key term now we move on the second key term which is agent of colonialist what is the meaning of agent of colonialist agent of colonialist are those european who has been sent by their respective countries to explore the african continent kwamba vitangulizi vya ukoloni ni kitu gani kwamba ni hao watu ambao walitumwa na, na nchi sana sana za, 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 za wazungu kule kuja kufanya uchunguzi barani afrika the agents include missionaries traders and explorers kwamba ma, au maagenti ambao kwa lugha nyepesi ndio tukawaita mawakala walikuwa ni wafanyabiashara wapelelezi pamoja na wamisionari all of this come in africa in order to make a, an exploration of african continent so after completing in our introduction now we move on the second part of our question which is main body so in our main body we are going to provide directly how the we are going to provide the contribution of those agents of colonialism to the colonization of africa kwa hapa tunaanza kutoa ni kwa sababu ni kwa jinsi gani hawa hawa mawakala au vitangulizi vya ukoloni walipelekea sasa ukoloni barani Afrika. Kwa tunajikita kwenye wapelelezi, wafanyabiashara pamoja na wamisionari. So let us start on discussing one contribution to another contribution. The first one they campaigned the abolition of slave trade and introduce legitimate trade the campaigns campaigned the abolition of slave trade and introduce legitimate trade kwamba hivi vitangulizi vya wakoloni wali, walianzisha kampeni ya kupinga biashara ya kiutumwa na kuanzisha kampeni ya kuleta hii biashara ya legitimate trade biashara ambayo ilihusisha ununuzi na uuzaji wa, 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 wa mazao ya kibiashara for example the missionaries disapproved the slave trade and replaced it by legitimate trade which transformed the slaves slaves to wage laborers something which cheered up by the up up by africans hence colonization made possible in africa kwa tunaona kwamba mchango mmoja wapo wa hawa maagent wa kikoloni wali walizuia biashara ya kitumwa na kaja na replacement ya biashara ambayo ilikuwa na inaitwa legitimate trade. Kwa hiyo ile hali ya kuzuia biashara ya kiutumwa wakaja na legitimate trade, wakaanza sasa kuwa na mfumo 
wa kuwalipa wale wafanyakazi wao. Kwa wakiwa wanawalipa ikawa kama ni njia moja hapo ya kuwafanya wa Afrika waweze kubadilisha ma- mindset yao, akili yao, wakablash ile akili ya wa Afrika, waanze kuwaona wa wazungu kwamba ni watu wazuri kwamba bwana wametuendelea biashara ya kiutumwa na sasa hivi tunashirikiana nao kwenye kufanya biashara. Wa Afrika wakaanza kuachukua wazungu kama ni watu wema ambao wanaweza kushirikiana nao. Kumbe hiyo ilikuwa ni triki ya kuwateka wa Afrika sasa kwamba waweze kuwa, 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 kuwa control vizuri na kuanza kuwatawala kwa namna hiyo. Kwa kupitia kuzuia biashara ya kiutumwa na kuanzisha hii legitimate trade ikawa kama triki au njia moja hapo ya wa Afrika kuweza kutawaliwa kiraisi. Lakini yote haya ilipelekewa au ilichangiwa na kuwepo kwa hawa vitangulizi vya wakoloni au mawakala wa wakoloni wa sana sana wa misionari. Another point it is they introduce colonial education kwamba walianzisha elimu ya kikoloni this used by the colonialist as a tool to trick the african to accept colonialism kwamba elimu ya kikoloni ilikuwa ni mojawapo ya triki au ya njia mojawapo ambayo ilitumiwa na wazungu ili kuweza kuwatawala wa Afrika ambapo tunaona sasa wazungu walianza kutoa elimu kwa waafrika ili baadaye au waafrika ambao wamepata elimu waje watumike kama vibaraka vya wakoloni katika mataifa mbalimbali ya Kiafrika. For example, missionaries preached to the African to be sub- submissive and loyal to the white sea. This creates the way of colonialism. Kwa tunaona kwamba wamisionari kipindi wanawafundisha wa Afrika au wanawapa elimu ya kikoloni walikuwa wanafundisha vitu tofauti tofauti kwamba kuwa loyo yani kuwa wazalendo na kuwa watiifu na huo utiifu na uzalendo ulikuwa anawaambia kwamba inabidi wawatii wale wazungu na wawe wazalendo wajitume kwa kila ambacho wanakuwa wanaelekezwa kwa hiyo Afrika wakawa na, wanapewa elimu ya namna hiyo na wakawa nalishwa sumu ya namna kwamba inabidi umti mzungu na, na ufanye kila ambacho anakuelekeza kwa hiyo Afrika kupitia hiyo hiyo triki wakawa anaingia kwenye mifumo yao ya wazungu kwa mwisho wa siku ikaonekana kutokana na ile elimu ambayo walikuwa napewa waanze ku kidogo kidogo wazungu kwanza kuwatawala wa Afrika kwa kutumia triki ya kuwapa elimu. So the third point it is the Sandy Boga Street with African local rulers. Kwamba agent of colonialism like missionary traders and explorers walisaini mikataba ya kilagai na viongozi wa Kiafrika. For example Karl Peters as an agent of German agent of colonialism sent a treat with Chief Mangungo of Msovero and also the brother and the French agent did a treat with Chief Makoko of Congo this treaties legalized the colonization of Africa since chiefs did not understand their content kwamba hii mikataba mbalimbali ya kilagai ambao walisaini wa au au agenti wa kikoloni au mawakala wa kikoloni na viongozi wetu wa Kiafrika ilitengeneza njia nzuri wa wakoloni kututawala au kuwepo kwa ukoloni kwa sababu gani wa au viongozi wetu wa Kiafrika walikuwa na seni hiyo mikataba bila kujua hiyo mikataba inahusika na nini na mwisho wa siku ikapelekea sasa wakisaini unakuta huo mkataba ulikuwa na lengo lake content yake kubwa ni kwamba tutatawala eneo fulani kwa miaka mingi unakuta mkataba unasema tutatawala labda Dar es Salaam kwa miaka 10000 au F, 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 au laki moja. Kwa hiyo unakuta kiongozi anasaini. Kwa kisaini anakuwa amewapa njia na wamewaruhusu wale wazungu waje kututawala. Kwa kupitia mikataba ilionekana ni njia moja hapo ambao au ni, ni moja hapo ya jukumu ambao alifanya au viongozi wa kikoloni katika kututawala sisi wa Afrika. The first point in, it is the suppressed Africa resistance kwamba walizuia migomo ya Kiafrika. The different African resistance has been suppressed due to the colonialist to use the administrative laws and the order. They also formed the policies which were used to maintain the internal order, peace and stability. For example, the German East Africa Company suppressed the, the coastal resistance of 1888 to 1893 also the imperial british east africa company suppressed the the land resistance in kenya tunaona sasa 
ile kuzuia migomo ya Kiafrika walifanya hawa watangulizi wa kikoloni vitangulizi vya kikoloni kama wafanya biashara au wapelelezi pamoja na wamisionari kwa migomo tofauti tofauti ambayo ilikuwa inataka kuanzisha na Afrika ilikuwa inazimwa kupitia hizi sela ambazo zilikuwa zime zimeanzishwa na wazungu kwa ajili ya kulinda amani pamoja na na, na, na utulivu ambao ulikuwa unapatikana ambao ulibidi Afrika uweze kuwepo sana sana kwenye yale maeneo ambayo walikuwa naishi au wazungu so kupitia ile kuzuia hizo African resistance ikawa ni rahisi kwao kwa wazungu kuja kufanyaje kututawala sisi kama Afrika na ikawa ni mojapo ya njia ya Afrika kuanza kutawaliwa na ukoloni ukaanza kuwepo barani Afrika the another point here it is they collect valuable information about the economic potentiality of African continent. Kwamba hivi vitangulizi vya ukoloni wafanya biashara, wapelelezi pamoja wa misionari walikuwa wanakusanya taarifa mbalimbali kuhusiana na bara la Kiafrika. Sana sana taarifa ambazo zilikuwa zinahusiana na masuala ya kiuchumi. Kwa hiyo walikuwa wanakusanya hizo taarifa na wakikusanya wanazituma kule kwenye nchi zao mother countries ili wa, waweze kuandalia mazingira ya hao wazungu kutoka kule Ulaya kuja barani Afrika kwa ajili ya kunyonya rasilimali zetu after the collection of those information the colonial agent sent those information to their mother countries countries something which made the european power to develop interest in colonizing Africa. Kwa hiki kitu cha wale wazungu kupokea zile taarifa kutoka kwa mawakala wao ambao waliwatuma kuja kufanya uchunguzi Afrika ili wangu ya hao wazungu kupata kuwa na na, na, na interest uhitaji wa wao kuja kwa ajili ya kukolonize Afrika. Kwa sababu zile taarifa ambazo walikuwa wanazipata zilikuwa ni nzuri kwamba bwana semfrani tumeona kuna migodi. Semfrani kuna ardhi yenye rutuba ambayo itashawishi kuwepo kwa kilimo cha nini? Cha, 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 cha upandaji au kilimo cha umwagiriaji au kilimo chochote cha kibiashara. Kwa mwisho wa siku ikapelekea sasa hao wazungu wawezi kuja kwa kasi kutoka kule Europe kuja barani Afrika na kuanzisha nini? ukoloni. For example, they reported about the economic potentiality of Congo Basin, South African, East African River, Niger River, Nile and Egypt. This intensified the scramble for over this intensified the scramble over such areas by european powers kwa kutokana na kikite another point the collective valuable information about the economic potentiality of african continent kwamba agent of colonialism au makala ma au vitangulizi vya ukoloni wafanya biashara wa missionary pamoja na wapelelezi waliweza kukusanya taarifa muhimu kutokana ku, ambazo zilikuwa zinahusu bara la afrika sana sana hizo taarifa muhimu zilikuwa ni taarifa za kiuchumi. So after the collection of those information information the colonial agent sent those information to their mother country something which made the european power to develop interest in colonizing africa. Kwa baada ya, ku, ya, ku, ya kukusanya zile taarifa wakawa nazituma kule kwenye nchi zao ambapo wametoka. Kwa wakawa na hapa nguvu hawa colonial hizi hawa hawa wazungu kuanza safari ya kutoka kule Ulaya kuja bandari ya Afrika ili waweze kuiongoza au ku, kuikolonize Africa for example they reported about economic potentiality of the Congo basin South Africa East Africa River River Niger River Nile and Egypt this intensified this scramble of a such area by European powers kwa kutokana na zile taarifa ambazo zilikuwa napewa na wale makala wao ambao waliwatanguliza huku kufanya uchunguzi iliwashawishi na iliwapa nguvu wazungu kutoka kule Ulaya kuja barani Afrika. Kwa taarifa ambazo walizituma kule ni kama uwepo wa ardhi yenye rutuba, mito pamoja na na na, na misitu tofauti tofauti au migodi ambayo ingekuwa kama chanzo cha wao kupata kupata malighafi ambayo yatatumika kwenye viwanda vyao. So another point it is they opened the penetrations to the interior of African for European exploitation. Kwamba wenyewe walifungua njia zaidi 
ambapo sasa wazungu wat, wana, wanapokuja barani Afrika wasiweze kupata shida ya kufanya unyonyaji. Kwa wenyewe walihakikisha wanaenda sehemu tofauti tofauti kwa ajili ya kufanya ukaguzi na upelelezi wa sehemu zipi zina hali zenye rutuba, sehemu zipi kuna madini, sehemu zipi zina misitu, sehemu zipi zina mito. Kwa hata wazungu walivyokuja moja kwa moja wakupata shida walikuwa naelekezwa kwamba nenda Kongo kuna msitu au kuna madini au nenda Semfrani kuna halivi yenye rutuba. Kwa kupitia agent of colonialism wenyewe walikuwa shafungua njia ya sehemu muhimu ambapo wanapokuja wale wazungu wataenda kufikia kwenye hayo maeneo kwa ajili ya kwanza ku exploiting the African resources. This done through the construction of infrastructure like roads which enable many white sea to penetrate the interior to explore variable natural resources like minerals, timber and also the fertile land. Kwa wale agent of colonialism walifungua njia kupitia kujenga miundombinu ambayo itawasaidia sasa wale wazungu wanavyokuja waweze kutoka sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine kwa ajili ya kufanya exploitation in the areas where looks as a variable for the existence of natural resources. So after discussing the main six points based on our question, now we move on the third point the third part of our question or our discussing which is conclusion. So in our conclusion we are going to make the sum up of what has been discussing in the introduction and also in our main body. So in my side my conclusion is states that therefore the agent of colonialism prepare ground for colonization of Africa continent as they facilitated the Berlin conference which spearheaded the scramble for independition and eventually to colonization of Africa continent kwa tunaona sasa jumla ya nini ya matokeo yaliyotokana na kuwepo kwa au agent of colonialism kwamba walivyokuja kuwepo kwa ma agent au wao utangulizi vya wakoloni ilipelekea sasa mwisho wa siku kuwepo na mkutano wa Berlini kwa sababu walivyokuja kwa wingi wale wazungu kila mtu akawa anagombania maeneo tofauti tofauti kwa katika kugombania sasa ikapelekea kuwepo kwa mkutano wa Berlini huo mkutano ambao ulikaa kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha sasa kila koloni linaweza kugawanywa na linakuwa na msimamizi au linakuwa na, na mtu ambaye anakuwa analisimamia sana sana kwa hizi nchi za Europe European countries kwa kila koloni likawa linagawanyishwa Tanganyika anachukua anachukuliwa na Mjerumani, Uganda anachukuliwa na, na, na Mjerumani au koloni fulani inachukuliwa na mtu fulani. Kwa hiyo na partitions of the colonies to the European power. So after looking at our conclusion, we have the addition part of our discussion and this part it is references or related questions. Now we look at the sample of the question which relate on the our main question which has been already discussing the first question it is missionaries prepare africa for european colonialism discuss the another it is explain how agent of colonialism creates the way of colonialism colonialism in african continent the third it is how agent of colonialism acts as a base of colonialism in africa all of these three questions relate to our main question which has been already discussing and here we have the summary of the points which can be used to answer the three questions with the also regarding with our main question which has been already discussing the first point the com co campaign campaign the abolition of slave trade and intro introduce legitimate trade they introduce colonial education the third point the Saint Boga street with the african local rulers the fourth the suppressed the african the resistance and the last thing, the open is the penetration to the interior of africa for european export exploitation all of this point we has been already discussing and can be used to answer the three question which are related with um, our main question which has been already discussing so this make the end of our lesson let us meet on the next session thank you
Yeah.